next on the Gospel Bill Show. Uh, uh, Mr. Red, this can't be my meal. This is too much money. This is too much money, Mr. Red. I didn't get all this. Look at Mark, 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 that's everything you ordered. Uh, this is just too much money. I, I can't afford to pay all this. I don't have that kind of money. Well, Your problems are too man. expensive. I can't afford to pay it, and I'm not going to pay it. It's too expensive. Jimmy, listen, listen. Jack Gilbert, just tell me. He's seen, he's seen Montana Red down, down by the stockyards. He's seen him. You won't get away with this. Huh. I've been waiting for this day, Gospel Bell. Ever since you first put me away, I've been waiting for this day. County, it's the Gospel Bill Show, featuring the sheriff himself, Gospel Bill, his sidekick, Nicodemus, that dog about town, Barkamaeus, Miss Lana, and of course, Eugene. So round up your friends and get ready for some real fun! Come on, hurry up! Well, I'm concentrating. Don't don't rush me. Oh, I'm gonna win this game. I'm gonna win it. Hurry up! Hey, can't, don't rush it. Now, a cowboy's got to think. Don't rush me. You're the slowest checker player I ever played with. Come on, I'm gonna win this one. Mm, mm. Watch this. What? What? Hey, listen. Uh huh. Yeah. Listen. Uh huh. Listen. Uh huh. Listen. Uh huh. <laughs> Clean the board. No. no. <laughs> Beat you like a drum, boy. I wanted to win. I wanted to win that. Oh. Oh, I wanted to win it. 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 It's just a game. Just a game? Just this guy. Just a game. Oh. What in the world's the matter with him? Oh, Gospel Billy had a wall out there. I just beat him in a little old checker game. Well, why did he have to run off now? I really need his help. Well, hey, maybe I can help you. Well, I'm going to need you, too, because Montana Red's escaped from prison again, and he's been seen around Drago. Hey, Gospel Big, you, ju you just put him in prison, what, three months ago? Yeah, but that Montana Red is the craftiest outlaw I've ever dealt with. Oh, man, if Montana Red's out, Gospel Bill, it could be real dangerous. <laughs> the Gospel Bill Show continues after this. to visit a couple of cool cats, and I really mean cats. This is a Bengal tiger, one of the largest members of the cat family. There are many kinds of tigers, but all tigers have one thing in common. They are found only in Asia. The largest of the tigers is the Siberian model. He often grows to be 13 feet long from head to tail and can weigh up to 650 pounds. Wow! A Siberian tiger then weighs as much as three grown men. These Bengal tigers are somewhat smaller than their Siberian cousins. They weigh only 350 pounds or so. But don't get any wise ideas. They're still much too big to be your house cats. Tigers usually live alone and like to hunt at night. They prey upon deer, goats, pigs, cattle, and smaller animals. Although it is rare, some Bengal tigers in India have been known to have people over for lunch. No thanks. If you ever get invited to a tiger's house for lunch, don't go. The tiger is a powerful hunter and swimmer, and it can leap up to 15 feet in a single bound. And it's very hard to see in the tall jungle grass because its stripes blend so well. That means the tiger is able to sneak up on its prey. The tiger's stripes remind us of other stripes, stripes that Jesus took upon his back. When he was beaten with a whip, he took away our infirmities and diseases. In fact, the scripture says by Jesus' stripes, we were healed. So, whenever you see a tiger, remember the stripes that Jesus took for you. And remember that God doesn't want you to be sick. So long, Mr. Tiger. We'll be back to see you again, but don't you bother coming to see us. I like you right where you are.
Hi, Barkamayas. Come on in. Well, howdy, Miss Lena. How are you doing? Oh, I'm just fine. Isn't it a beautiful day out, Barkamayas? Oh, Miss Lena, it is beautiful outside. And speaking of beautiful, that reminds me of a beautiful thing that I'd like to have. What's that? A beautiful T-bone steak. Oh, Barkamayas, I have them. You do? I sure do. Uh, listen, I want one about, no, listen, no, about this bit, no, about this bit. I want one this big. Oh, Barkamayas, I'll get you one, though. You have one this big? Uh, well, not that big, but I can get you a big one. All right, I'll tell you what, I want one. You wrap it up for me so I can take it home with me. Okay, I'll sure do it. And, and put it on my bill, Miss Flatter. Okay. By the way, Barkamas, I was adding your bill up this morning. Uh-huh. And your bill's getting pretty big. I thought maybe you might want to look at it, Barkamas. My, my bill's big? Yeah, I thought you'd probably want to pay it. But, uh, Miss Red, this can't be my bill. This is too much money. This is too much money, Miss Red. I didn't but, get all this. Look at Bar 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 that's everything you ordered. But, but, this is just too much money. I, just, I can't afford to pay all this. I don't have that kind of money. Well, Your Barca prices Mays? are too expensive. I can't afford to pay it, and I'm not going to pay it. It's too expensive. Barca Mayus. Now, where would he keep a pencil? He never puts things where normal people do. i got to find one so I can do my homework. Where would you put your pencil, Eugene? i got to find one. I know better than to look in here. I already did. Maybe put it back... Oh, I'm in trouble now. If he sees that, he's really going to get mad. I better get this all picked up. Oh, dear. Oh, my. What's going on? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Eugene. What's going on? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. What are you doing in my room? Uh, 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 you rhino potamus, what are you doing in my room? I, well, I was just in here looking for a pencil. Looking for a pencil? Well, you did a good job of busting my bubblegum bank. Oh, I'll bust you in the mouth, Jeannie. I'm sorry, Eugene. I really didn't mean to do it. Yeah, you didn't mean to do it. You were probably trying to get the money out of it, weren't you? No, I wasn't trying to get the money out of it. I don't want your money. Yeah, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you have it. Man, you wait till I get my hands on you. No, wait a minute. I I'm gonna beat you up, Jeannie. You make me so mad! Well, howdy there, Miss Lana. Well, hi, Sheriff. How you doing today? Oh, fine. Well, that's good. Listen, I just want to drop by and tell you that old Montana Red has busted out of the territorial prison and somebody saw him headed toward Dry Gulch, so you keep your eyes out for him. Well, I sure will, but is he dangerous? Well, I don't think he would be to you, but... If he gets around me and loses that temper of his, there could be some real trouble. So you just kind of keep your eyes peeled for him, if you will. Oh, I sure will. Sheriff, will you hand me that piece of paper right there? Sure. What are you doing? What is this? Oh, I'm trying to put Barkamaeus' bill together. What was his bill? Well, what happened here? Temper, temper, temper. He came in and just tore it all up. Got mad. Well, see, I, it was getting out of control too big, and I thought he'd want to pay it. And... I gave it to him, and Sheriff, he just blew up. He said he didn't owe that much. He said he couldn't pay it, and just tore it in pieces. Miss Lena, everybody knows you're reasonable on your prices. <gasps> Why is he losing his temper so much? That's the oh. second time today. I'm going to have to have a talk with that dog. Listen, okay. I'll see you later. I hope you do. Bye, Sheriff. Well, hello there, Mr. Barkamas. You're just the feller I need to see. Well, okay. What, what do you need, Gosh? What do you need? I want to talk to you about what you did in Miss Lana's general store a while ago, tearing that bill into pieces. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. Because it's too expensive. It was too much. Now, listen here. Miss Lana doesn't charge too much for her groceries. I don't know what's gone into you. Well, I can't afford to pay them high prices. All her fault. That's why I got upset. Now, listen here, you should have thought about that stuff before you ordered the goods, Barker Mass. That's no way to do it. No. Hey, and I want to ask you about something else, too. What? Uh, in the jail this morning when I came in, you were throwing a temper fit and scattered checkers all over the floor, and I want to know what was going on there. I can tell you, it was all Nicodemus's fault. Every bit of it. He cheated in that checker game, and that's the reason I lost. He cheated. Now, you know good and well Nicodemus Jimmy, wouldn't Jimmy. cheat you. Jimmy, listen, listen. Jack Gilbert just told me he seen... He seen Montana Red down, down by the stockyards. He seen him. Was he armed? Was he armed? Yeah. He had one on each side. No, I don't mean that. Did he have weapons? Uh, yeah, he was armed to the teeth, Gospel Bill. He's got arms in his teeth? No, no, no. See, he had...
You know, this really isn't a bad little city, is it? No, it's a cute little village, pretty little place. You know what? I think the Lord would be pleased to stay here. Yeah, I do too. Uh, maybe we can ask this fellow here. Hello there. Howdy, strangers. Uh, listen, my name is uh, John, and this is my brother James. Yeah, and we work for a man named Jesus. Uh, we're his disciples. Ever heard of him? Jesus? That's the miracle worker, isn't it? That's the right. That's right. He's a miracle worker. Heals the sick, makes people well. Well, anyway, we were in town, and we just wanted to know if we could spend the night here. Yeah, we're just passing through on our way to Jerusalem, and we were just wondering if maybe we could spend the night in your town. Jerusalem? You're headed to Jerusalem? Yeah. We Samaritans have trouble with people in Jerusalem. Now, listen here. You can't spend the night here. You can't stay here at all. That's it. That's final. Wow, i never seen a guy as arrogant as that. He said we couldn't stay here at all. Yeah, I wonder what's wrong with him. I don't know, but I don't like it. That's terrible. Man, the Lord is a miracle worker. He heals the sick. He does good things for people, and they treat him like this. They won't even let him stay in their town. Well, what do you think we ought to do? I'll tell you what I think we ought to do. I think we ought to call down some fire from heaven on these guys. Elijah did it one time, and I think we should too. Come on, let's go tell Jesus. I'm going to call fire down from heaven, and this whole village is going to get it. Boy, John, I was really surprised at what Jesus said about this village. No, you shouldn't have been. Jesus never gets mad and loses his cool. Well, I'll tell you, I sure did, and I thought he would too. Especially after these people refused to let us stay here overnight, I thought for sure Jesus would want me to call down fire from heaven. But Jesus isn't that way. He always keeps control of himself. Yeah, I know. Well, boy, I'll tell you, I learned a lesson. I learned one for sure. It just pays to control your temper. <laughs> I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. What do you want to do? Yell at me some more? No, no, no. I, I, I want to tell you something. I want to tell you that I'm sorry. You're sorry? Well, yeah, I, you ought I, to be. Well, I didn't mean to get all upset and mad at you playing them checkers, and I thought you was cheating on me. Well, I don't cheat. Well, I, I realize that, and I'm sorry. Well, well, all right. I, I forgive you, Barkamayas. Hey, you know, we've been buddies a long time. Yeah, we really have. Yeah, we can't let something like this stand between us, can we, friend? No, no, we're going to be friends, good buddies That's about right, them. buddies. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, oh, what's the matter? Oh, what's you the matter? spurred my foot. I you spurred your foot. foot. Well, I'm sorry, oh, Barker. I didn't mean to. to hurt me. No, I didn't, I didn't mean to, me. to do it. Yes, you did. I did not yeah, mean did. to do it. You're, you're always trying to hurt my foot. What yeah. a dog, you're, brother. You're always being mean to me. start charging double for these here apples. Double? Yeah, these are special apples. Well, how are they special, Nicodemus? Well, you see, they're fishing apples. Fishing okay, apples? Let me show you. See here, you get you a free worm in every one of them. Oh, yuck, <laughs> yeah. Nicodemus. Howdy, folks. Hi, Howdy, Sheriff. Sheriff. Everything all right here? Uh-huh. Yep. I don't suppose you've seen Montana Red? No, no, I ain't seen him. Well, good. How about Barkamas? Oh, boy, I've seen Barkamas, but he had another one of them wall-eyed fits a while ago. Why? I can't figure out what's got into him. He's having them tips. Gospel Bill, look, it's Montana. Montana! Let's pray! Hold her right there, Montana Red. Right there. Hold her there. Put your hands up in there. Get up high. Come on. I don't know what you're doing out of jail, but I got one word for you. You're going back. That away, right there. <laughs> How do you like that? How do you like that? My sister comes in my room and she breaks my bubblegum machine and then I get the spanking. And it's all because of her fault. Just because I punched her in the nose doesn't mean I ought to get a spanking. And now I gotta clean up this mess. This is just terrible, just terrible. Hi, kid. Hi, boy, am I ever glad to see you. I'm glad I have someone to talk to. I wanna tell you what my stupid sister did. She really blew it. Look at there, she busted my bubblegum machine. Yeah, but you're the one who blew it. 
I'm the one who blew it? Yeah, she did that by accident. She did it by accident? Oh, she did it on purpose. Jeannie Mae wouldn't do anything like that, and you know it. You just got mad and you lost your temper. But, 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 uh, but she deserved it. I mean, she really did. She, she, she came in my room and wasn't supposed to. You know better than to lose your temper like that. Eugene, it's wrong. It's sin when you get mad and lose your temper and hit people. It is? Yes. God doesn't appreciate that. And neither does anybody else. Well, what do you think I should do? You need to ask God to forgive you, and you need to ask Jeannie to forgive you. Ask Jeannie to forgive me? That's right. And you probably should let her use one of your pencils. You mean one of my school pencils that I hide underneath my bed? That's right. You better let her use a pencil, and you quit letting your temper get the best of you. I'll see you later. Well, I guess I will let her use one of my pencils. Lord, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have lost my temper and I won't hit my sister again. And after all, Lord, I am going to let her use one of my pencils. I promise I'm not ever going to do it again. Step right on in, Montana Red. You know I'm surprised at you. You hadn't put up much of a fight. Get in over there. Yeah. Looks like you got me again there, Gotham Bill. Well, you ought to learn your lesson. You can't keep breaking out of jail. I wouldn't put that key up quite so quick, Sheriff. You're gonna need it again. <laughs> now open up this door. You're not gonna get away with this, Montana Red. Drop your gun belt. You won't get away with this. Huh. I've been waiting for this day, Gotham Bill. Ever since you first put me away, I've been waiting for this day. Now you wait just a minute. You're the one who got yourself in a mess. You hadn't gotten mad, lost your temper, and killed that ah, man. Ah, shut up and You'd open that door. You'd be a free man. Now back up against the wall. <laughs> I hope you've been saying your prayers, Gospel Bill. Right here, Gospel Bill! Right, Bill. Uh, uh. All right, hold it right there. Gospel Bill, that's my pet ring. You got him already. Yeah, I got him already. I'm glad you came in here, Barker Man, but we'd have had a mess on our hands. Here, Gospel Bill. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right, sir. Yeah, come on over here and sit down. I got to talk to you. All right. What about, what about? Oh, I'm glad you came in. <laughs> He had me for sure. Listen, do you know why he's in jail? Yeah, because everybody knows that he killed a man. No, it's not just that he killed a man. What? He got mad and he lost his temper. And that's why he's in all that trouble. And I want to talk to you about something. You got to quit losing your temper. You better start settling down, Barker Mess, or you're going to be in a mess. Joseph, you're exactly right. I'm going to ask God to forgive me, and I'm not going to lose my temper. I'm not going to end up like he is. You know, one of the biggest problems that kids face is learning how to control their tempers. Oh, it's easy to get mad and blow your cool and hit somebody or say a word you wish you wouldn't have said. It's really easy to lose your temper, and that's why you have to control it. The Bible says, he that is soon angry dealeth foolishly. That means that if you get mad and lose your temper quickly, you're going to do something stupid. You'll do something you wish you wouldn't have done. So you need to learn how to control yourself because people who are constantly losing their tempers keep on doing worse and worse things. At first, it may just be that you say a bad word and then you'll get worse. You may even hit someone and finally, you grow older and continue to lose your cool, you might wind up hurting somebody, doing something that could even cause you to go to prison. So, you watch, learn how to control your temper. Now, I know somebody says right away, Gospel Bill, I can't help it. I can't keep from losing my temper. I just do, that's all there is to it. Yes, you can control your temper. You see, your temper is a part of your flesh. And when Jesus lives in you and gives you a brand new spirit, your spirit wants to do what's right. 
and you have to let your spirit control your flesh. Your flesh wants to lose its cool. It wants to get mad and do something really bad, and you can control it. And I'll tell you how. I want to talk to you about a sailboat. Now, you know, this is a model of a sailboat, and a real sailboat is, is of course, many, many times bigger, but all boats have one thing in common. At the back of the boat, there's this little thing right here that's called a rudder. And the rudder is what's used to steer the boat. This little rudder can make this great big boat go in any direction it wants to go. The rudder guides the boat. And you know what? Your tongue is like the rudder on that boat. The Bible tells us in the book of James that our tongue is like a boat's rudder. So if you want to keep from losing your temper, watch what you say with your mouth and practice saying good things. Say this, I don't lose my temper, God helps me keep it. You need to practice saying that over and over again, reminding yourself that you can control your temper. Now, I want to talk for a minute to people who don't have Jesus living in their hearts, because if you don't have Jesus living in your heart, it's going to be a little bit harder for you to control your temper. You know, Jesus loves you with all of his heart, and he wants to make his home inside you. Jesus can live inside you in your spirit, but you have to ask him to come in. You see, he wants to come in your spirit and fill the little hole that's in there because every human being has a little hole in his heart, and that hole can only be filled up with God. And when you ask Jesus to come in and he fills up that hole, he takes the sin out of your heart. He makes you, you into a child of God, and you then become ready for heaven. Not only that, you'll have a lot easier time controlling your temper. So if you've never let Jesus come to live in your heart, you ask him to. Just bow your head and pray and say, Lord Jesus, I believe you died on the cross for my sins and I believe you were raised from the dead. Come into my heart right now. If you'll pray a prayer that's kind of like that, he will, he'll come in to your heart. Could you settle down, please? Quiet! Thank you. I, I am your substitute teacher for today. My name is Mr. Nicodemus. <coughs> now, I'm very glad to be here today because I have a very important lesson I want to teach everybody. So I want you all to get out your notepads and get ready to take notes. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, demons will have to flee. We can know what God will do, what he says in his word. In the name of Jesus, demons will have to flee. We can know what God will do, what he says in his word he will do for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have the victory. Okay, class, do we have any questions so far? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Nicodemus, what do I do when I get bad thoughts or want to do bad things? Well, that's easy, and it works every time. You just say, I command you, Satan, in the name of the Lord, to pick up your weapons and flee. For the Lord has given me authority to walk all over thee. I command you, Satan, in the name of the 
the Lord to pick up your weapons and flee. For the Lord has given me authority to walk all over thee. We can know what God will do, what he says in his word he will do for you. In that mighty name of Jesus, we have the victory. Dismissed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, before we go, I want to leave you with a very important thought. The more you control your temper, the easier it'll be when you control it the next time. You know, you may think, well, it's hard to control my temper. But if you grab hold of it and not let it get the best of you, it'll get easier and easier. Now listen, the next time you feel like getting mad and just throwing a fit or punching somebody or saying a bad word, you stop right there. You may not feel like doing it, but you say, I can control my temper with God's help and in the name of Jesus. And you'll find out it'll get easy.